Smokey Joe. Lucky, where's your mask at? Alright, so All right. go ahead. First thing you want to do is uh, wash the bird. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this thing off so I can get a wash on it. <clears throat> and what's the point of washing that, washing that bird? Just wash off any type of bacteria, germs, debris, foreign debris that could possibly be on it. All right. It's just good having to wash wash your um your raw meat before you, you start pre preparing for it, prepping it. I've seen people talk about using uh do you do it with vinegar water? My mom showed me how to do it with vinegar water. I'm not 100 percent on why oh. vinegar is used. I have. I know vinegar is a natural. Like, it, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. kills the germs and all that. Yep. <clears throat> so that's the reason um they do that. They so my mom usually puts like a half half. But on ratio of salt and vinegar, I mean, uh, water and vinegar, maybe some salt, but we're not gonna do all that. We don't need to do that because we plan on doing a brine. Okay, yeah, that's what we're doing, a brine. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. So, basically, what you wanna do is um, get some salt and water. Okay. A certain ratio of salt and water, and um, let the, the birds sit in there for you know a couple of hours. So um, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this, this on water. All right. So the basic brine that I use is um, 50 grams of salt mm -hmm. to one liter of water. Okay. All right. Get that measurement right now. What's the importance of measuring this out? Because I know I would just eyeball most of this. Me being like a level one cook. Um, <laughs> well, the importance of uh, measuring it out is. Um, Get the same results every time. You want to have your, you want to, yeah. You want to get it. You want to have the it down to a science. It seems. Yeah. I know. I've yeah. been knowing you for years, and with the cooking, both you and Jamar, y'all look serious about y'all. Uh, how it comes out taste wise. So. Basically, what I would use is just uh, fine sea salt yeah. or um, kosher salt. Okay. I do with this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and like give it a quick swirl. I'm gonna need a spoon. We gotta cook just one liter of water and 50 grams of salt. Alright. We're gonna bring this to a boil. So once it starts to boil, we gotta take it off the eye. I'm gonna need uh, 3,000 grams of ice. Basically, um, three liters of ice. The reason I'm using the ice, once this comes to a boil and everything, you gotta pull it off the pot mm -hmm. and um, pour the, the water in a, another pot. And then we gotta use the ice to cool it off. And it so we can go ahead and get the bird up in that bath. Okay. That's the only purpose that, we, that we're using the ice. Quick, quick, you know, quick cooling. Yep, quick cooling. We're gonna bring it down the temperature because we don't want we don't want to put hot water on the daggone bird. The, um, the water's been boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and pour it in this pot right here. All right, now we gotta go ahead and pour the, um, the ice in and bring it down the temperature before we pour it. Okay, so to cool off the brine. All right, so now I went ahead and um, put the bird in the brine with the ice. It's down the temperature. And we're gonna go ahead and um, put a lid on this and put it in the refrigerator for six hours. So what's up with that rotisserie uh, piece right there, Sean? So basically, I found this on the internet. So the rotisserie kit comes with Yeah, this, this is the kit right here. That is the kit. Yep, and this is separate. This regular grill. Yep. All right. 
This here is my travel kit. Got some tongs. This comes apart. This is like a Swiss Army tool right here. Basically, you push this, come loose, got to do some fork, spatula. We got a knife right here, corkscrew. You got everything you need. Yeah, you got everything you need. I like this right here by Roxcon. All right, so basically, I use a small chimney to um, start with a light. Um, um, to look like the, the grill with. Normally, I would use a little bit of uh, fire starters, the little wool fire starters. Okay. Um, they have paraffin on it, and they're very flammable, and they, they work great with this right here. So, all right, so you just poured some cold coal in there just to just, add to the warm. Yeah, uh, add to the hot ones. So you let the hot ones get to there nice and white. Yeah. All right, so the bird's been marinating for about four hours. Go ahead and take it out of the brine. Hopefully the brine absorb the hopefully the, the bird absorb will absorb the brine pretty well. What we want to do is drain as much water out of it as possible. Give it a little dry, but not too dry. Be gentle. Be gentle with the bird. Yeah. So we gotta go ahead and put a little oil on it just to make the, the rub stick. You don't you wanna try to trust this, tie this bird up um, down as much as possible because you don't want the um the legs and the wings be flapping in the um, above the fire because gotcha. they're, they're overcooked before the rest of the bird does. Now, I see you got some uh, some rub over there, some seasoning, some powder. I bought it fresh. I just I was just experimenting, so I bought it fresh, cut them up and everything, and then I smoked them for um, about ten hours. Ooh. Okay. And then I took them out and dehydrated them. Okay. Once I dehydrated them and everything, I put them in a, a pepper mill and ground it up. And so this is the basic barbecue rub. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Don't need much. Just give it a little flavor because all the flavor, honestly, is already in the brine. So, let's throw it up on there. So you put it on there pretty uh, thoroughly. Yeah, I went ahead and laid it on tight. So this thing's gonna be spinning. So it doesn't really matter because it's not got cooked on one, on one side all the way. It's got to be rotating. Got it evenly over it. Go ahead and turn on the motor. There you go, right there. So what we got to do now is throw some, some wood on here. I have some Birkin. What is that? What um, kind of wood beach, is it? Beech wood. Beech wood. This is very, very good wood for smoking, for light smokes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some on top of this bad boy. Um, right now, these are two, two pieces. Put a little bit of wood chips in. This is a handful of wood chips. You can see what it looks like. Do it again. All right, a handful of wood chips, give or take. I'm gonna open this back up. So that the fire is not directly, it's kind of more of an indirect. And if you do have any parts that are loose, you may want to use a uh, what you guys toothpick. use? A toothpick, you just plug the show. Toothpick on. right here, just going right all the way there. in, like so, and on the other side. Basically, it's done 165 degrees is um, the minimal temperature that you want. Let's be cooked at. I prefer to cut through the back. through to the 
bone, rest, the juice is running clear. All right. Yeah, you want some of that chicken? Hey guys, I'm about to 